Is that a monkey on top of that truck? I think it is. It is. It's a freaking monkey. Can I say hello to him? Hey, come here. Mr. Monkey. Come here. Yes. Oh my god, I just killed a chimpanzee. Oh my god. He was primed to evolve himself and repopulate the freaking planet. And I went and stopped the process of evolution. Oh my god, I'm a bastard. Hello from Tokyo, my Jade Warriors. Isaac here, and you are with me for the first episode of a brand new Let's Play. Yes, we're going to be checking out the awesome Tokyo Jungle. Or as they say here in Japan, Tokyo Jungle. Yeah, you can sound Japanese by just putting a ru on the end of everything. But don't worry, I'm not being racist. I freaking love Japan. I'm here for a reason. And I can even speak a bit of the language. Just Nihongo shaberu da yo ne. Hontoni Nihongo ga daisuki da kara shinpai shinai de ne. Anyway. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked already, guys. We're in for a treat today. This is going to be a lot of fun. I've been watching Tokyo Jungle on some Japanese live streams for a little while now, and it looks like a hell of a lot of fun. I'm so glad they've brought out the English version so we can check it out together. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, guys. Tokyo Jungle. This is going to be awesome. So let's get ourselves a new game started by pressing the good old start button and starting a survival campaign, I think. So uh, just quickly, as I said, you know, living in Tokyo myself, it's going to be pretty surreal to play this game because, truth be told, where the game seems to be set, which is post-apocalyptic Shibuya, is actually 20 minutes down the street from my place. So it's going to be kind of weird to see the whole place in ruin. But uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons I've been aching to check this game out, guys. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Survival mode! Beast mode, as it were. All right. Humankind has vanished. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. A decade later, Tokyo's familiar landscape has become a home to beasts. A jungle. A Tokyo jungle? Ooh. Pets have turned feral. Wild animals have escaped from the zoo. Hell yeah. Racehorses have been freed from servitude, and animals have taken to wearing costumes, apparently. Let's take a look at this brave new natural order. Oh yeah, guys. I've been looking forward to this. So, what you got for me, game? Throw it at me! A Panoramian, apparently. <laughs> That's how you say it, isn't it, guys? My god. Those dogs are so small, but they're so popular here in Japan. I guess because the apartments here are so small, they need small dogs to cram in there. Alright. If you hope to survive, do not allow stronger animals to see you. Sounds like a plan. Uh-oh. Got wolves! On the prowl. Oh, look out, Pranoramian! Get in that grass! Tall grass offers vital cover. The grass blocks other animals' lines of sight. Oh yeah, stealth game for the win. <laughs> uh oh, don't get seen, little fella! Leaving the grass will expose you? Obviously. Okay. That was just, you know, a premonition. Just a premonition of what could happen, guys, but we ain't gonna get spotted. No way, no how. Reach your destination using the grass to stay hidden. Sounds like a good idea. Alright, come on, let's get in that grass. Yes! Alright, guys, we're gonna pawn this. Oh, over to the other grass. Ah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was, that was a bit of a worry. I was worried that doggy over there would see us for a second. No, yeah, he's got his back turned. Pawned Oh, yeah, Panoramian Beast Mode, gang. Panoramian? God, I hope I'm saying that right. Yay, Neko! We got ourselves a little kitty cat. Who's a hunter. He's on the prowl. Predators live by catching and eating other animals. The hunger gauge shows your current hunger level. There it is, up there in the top left. Unless you eat, the hunger gauge will reach zero and you will begin to lose life. I don't want to do that. I need that life. If an animal life reaches zero, it will die. Hmm. Sounds logical enough. Oh, that bunny. Oh, yeah. 
approach it without being seen, then go in for the kill. All right. I think we can manage that, guys. Let's stealth our way over to that bunny rabbit. Oh, he saw me. Did he see me? Once in striking distance, an icon will appear to indicate timing. Press R1 the moment the bite icon turns red to lunge. Timing. Timing is of the essence, guys. Stay hidden. Boom! <laughs> clean kill. First clean kill of the game. Strip your praise bones and eat your fill. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bunny buffet. That's what we got ourselves right here. Holy crap, two bites and he bursts into a freaking pile of bones? That can't be good. He must have had something. God, I hope I didn't catch it. Combat! Oh yeah. Let's get our adorable little fella here in the combat. In the lore of the jungle, animals must compete for food. Sounds logical enough. Hyena! Uh-oh. The scent of a fresh kill has drawn hyenas. You can't deliver a killing bite while the enemy is watching you. First, you must create an opening. Sounds like a good idea to me. Press square button, the square button, uh, to claw and expose the hyena to attack. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Uh, uh. Gonna expose you, rip up your clothes, and expose you to the world. The hyena's guard is down. End it with a well-timed bite. Boom! I won. Hell yeah! Oh, this game is fun, guys. It's even more fun to play than it is to watch. Definitely pick it up, guys, if you're thinking about it. This looks like it's going to be fantastic. Enemies will attempt to catch you in their own jaws. If successful, the attack is fatal. But if you evade it, they are exposed to counterattack. When the bite icon appears over the beagle, evade, then counter. All right, what do we got? Evade the lunge with the right stick. Sweet. Whoa. Ready, set. Ready, set. Oh, got it. And strike. The hyena is left wide open. Don't let this chance slip by, and I should not. Ah, oh, freaking awesome. Right stick to dodge, just like God of War. I love that freaking dodge mechanic. Every, even victors are rarely unscathed. If the enemy has a pack, the danger rises. Hell yeah. Four on one is not a good position to be in. The hyena pack is just beyond. Use Claw and Fang to claim their territory for your own. I shall. Let's do this. Defeat the hyenas, guys. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, I attacked at an inopportune moment. Have they seen me? I think they've seen me. Oh, shit. Wah! This is not going to plan. I was hoping to sneak up on them and stealth them. That's what happens when... Ah! Wah! When you don't watch the timing. But it's all good, guys. We still dominated the pack. Hell yeah. Force them into servitude. They are going to be reporting to me from now on. Step four, grazers. Oh, look at that cute little deer. It's Bambi. Hey, Bambi. Grazers are herbivores. They survive by eating plants. Hell yeah, they do. They don't have to hunt, but are pole fighters as a result. Mm. I assumed as much. So stealth is the key. Plants grow in a wide variety of places. Mm. Just in real life. Alright, the plant icon on your radar shows their position. Alright, gotcha. Bottom left. Eat three types of plants without being seen by predators. Ooh. That might be a tall order after my last humiliating display, display of noobness in stealth. Oh, thank god this grass is so thick. The woofy can't see me peeping at him through the, the blades. Alright, can I get close enough to eat from the, the grass? Nice, yes I can, you know it. And we're stealthing over here to get high on some mushrooms. <laughs> and the last plant dominated that. Oh yeah, I'm the plant king. I'm the king of plants. Oh, I probably should have eaten more. <laughs> Can't let food go to waste in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, guys. Got to make every meal count. Uh-oh. Ah, no! The hyenas see me. I don't got no claws. A sicka deer stands no chance against a hyena. I assumed as much. So we better freaking hot tail it out of here. Hey guys, let's do this. There, a stand of tall grass. Run for cover in the grass before the hyena catches you. Yes, my capitan. Oh, 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 oh. He's not going to see me running into the grass. 
If you can enter a stand of tall grass before predators get too close, you can lose them. Okay, so we just get right in there, right into the grass. If you are sufficiently far and hidden from view, your scent will fade and the chance you'll be found decreases. When the danger gauge drops to zero, the enemy will give up and move on. There's the caution gauge down the bottom left, guys, above the map. It seems you have escaped with your life. Sweet. Hell yeah, porn in these tutorials, guys. And having a ton of fun in the process. Yay! Territory and breeding. This is what you all came for, guys. The breeding. I know it. But age 15, at age 15, an animal's life approaches its end, but must mate and reproduce or die out. All right. Got to keep the lineage going. Before finding a female and mating, you must secure your own territory. Four mate marking points exist throughout the Shibuya Station area. Mm -hmm. Use your radar to locate them. Alright, sounds like a plan. You can also see their precise location by viewing, pressing start uh, to view your map. Sounds like a good idea. Mark each of these four points to claim Shibuya Station to your own. This is it, guys. There's one. Is that? Do I have to do anything? Do I just... Oh, press the good old circle button. That's it. That's how he marks. I thought uh, dogs had a more traditional way of marking their territory. You know what I mean? Lifting that old leg and doing something with it. Look at this. This is crazy. I was just here yesterday, guys. Oh, I want to kill that deer. That deer's tempted me. But no, we have more important things to take care of, like making babies. Oh yeah. All right, where's the next flag? I wouldn't mind killing. Oh, look at that cute little chicky! Chicky, chicky, chicky! Come here, chicky! Oh yeah. Um, 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 um. That can't be much of a meal though. No, it was one bite's worth. Hey, little kitty cat! Oh. Oh yeah. Dog on cat. Finally. The natural order of things freaking acted out in a game. We've always heard all our lives how cats are the servants of dogs, but we've never actually seen it in action until now. I think I'm getting to the end of the Shibuya Station area here. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to have to consult the larger map by pressing... Was it? Start, wasn't it? There we go. Ah, uh, they're at the other end of the, the street here. So yeah, I was actually at Shibuya Station just uh, yesterday, guys, and this is pretty accurate. Yeah, you got the 109 building there on the left, you got the Tsutaya there in front of us right now. Center guy heading up the left of Tsutaya. So this building right here in front of me is Tsutaya. Uh, this uh, road going to the left here is called Center guy, kind of the, one of the more popular streets in Tokyo. Oh, and that was my breakfast, but it got away, damn it. And, yeah, going under the uh, Yamanote line right now. Oh, oh, oh. Anything to eat around here? Anything? Anything? Wow, those deers run fast, don't they? Oh, a clean kill for the win. And to rub it in, to, to <laughs> really drive it home that I kicked your ass, I'm going to eat you till you burst into a pile of bones. Oh, yeah. Come on, fella, mark that territory. Beautiful. Got another green dot up here in front of us, but I can't see. Oh, uh, nah, the deer's gonna get away. He's too fast for us. We really need to use the grass to sneak up on those fellas. And then, oh, damn it, he saw me. All right, that's okay. That's why God gave me big claws. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And the last little piddle. You just know the, the game designers wanted to put a little piddle in there. Pardon me, here you go. Alright. The Shibuya Station layer is now yours to use. Awesome. Thank god the trains aren't working anymore, otherwise that could get messy. In more ways than one. Uh-huh. You know we're going to get messy with that freaking beautiful feral female right there. Oh yeah. Let's follow the pheromone trail. <laughs> Where's she at? I know she's around here somewhere. Gonna make sure that that green dot ain't something that's gonna kick my ass. No, it's a bunny rabbit. It was a bunny rabbit. Now it's 
Brunch! Yeah, we've well, moved on from breakfast. It's now time for a little bit of brunch. There we go. And I can smell... Oh yeah, I can smell those pher pheromones. Oh yeah, come on girl, let's get busy. There are three gauges of mate. Prime, average, and desperate. <laughs> but the best females will only respond to males of a certain caliber. Perform... <laughs> Hunts to raise uh, your standing for, as a male. <laughs> Alright, we've got to impress her apparently. But to be honest, being in Shibuya, I can only imagine uh, the females ask after the desperate type here. Ooh, did I just say that? Ooh. These golden retrievers hasn't reached a sufficient rank to interest her. Hunt down prey and feed to define, redefine, refine your skills as a male. Let's do it. Come on, big bye. Let's get killing! Apparently she only likes the kind of man that's coated in blood. Maybe she's not the desperate type. Maybe she's after more of a corporate leader. The kind of man who can just go out there and kill his fear. Alright, come on. Come back, bunnies! I wasn't going to kill you much. Ah, bloody damn it. Where's some grass to hide in when you need it? Oh, there's some water here, though. I was feeling a bit parched. Now we're ready and raring to go. Boom! Clean kill! Can she see this? This killing in her name from that far a distance? Oh! I did a big bark. That must have impressed her. It seems you have reached a sufficient rank. Hell yeah! Try approaching the female again. Mm-hmm. She's the kind of female I like with great eyesight. You can see that from frickin' 200 meters away. Hell yeah. Oh, oh! Just cause I can. Oh, I was gonna kill that sheep just cause I can. I didn't know there was that many sheep here in Japan. I thought that was more of a New Zealand thing. Yay! Head for your lair together. Come on, girl. I've secured ourselves a nice little pen over here. You're gonna love the place. It's all hot wired with the latest, you know, things. Oh, is that a monkey on top of... Is that a monkey on top of that truck? I think it is. It is. It's a freaking monkey. Can I say hello to him? Come here, Mr. Monkey. Come here. Yes. Oh my god, I just killed a chimpanzee. Oh my god. He was primed to evolve himself and repopulate the freaking planet. And I went and stopped the process of evolution. Oh my god, I'm a bastard. But that's okay. Because I'm about to get laid. You need any water, girl? You okay? You feeling alright? You ready to get nasty? Alright, come on over here. Follow me up this truck. Up the back side of this truck, girl. Mm hmm. We're gonna get nasty on that pile of hay. Join your partner at your lair to mate. After mating, you'll have pups and the generation will change. Children inherit a portion of the skills their parents cultivated. Awesome. Mate with your partner in your lair, then change generations. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Oh my god, guys. Okay, anyone under the age of 18, please cover your eyes. Everyone else, put on some spectacles, sit back, and enjoy this feral pet feast. This is going to be crazy. Oh my god. Lols. Generation change has occurred. There we go, guys. We've got ourselves little baby pups now. Yay! And a full pack at our back. That's pretty damn cool. This game is awesome! Oh, looks like we might have completed the tutorial, gang. Hunting, feeding, fleeing, mating. These are the acts of life. The fight to survive is never easy, but only the victors live to see where the future leads. It's the dawn of another day in the Tokyo Jungle. Oh yeah. There's actually like some big screens there guys on those uh, buildings that you can see. Now, not in the post-apocalyptic landscape, but... Uh, oh! Nope! I stand corrected. Yes, you can see the screens in a post-apocalyptic landscape. And there we go! We're a jungle baby! First trophy of the game, and... We are now prepared to... Yeah, partake in the story. Awesome.
Yay! And we'll get the story underway in the very next episode, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in for the tutorial for Tokyo Jungle. I hope you had fun and think it looks as promising as I do. It looks like it's going to be freaking awesome, guys. I hope you stick around. Until next time, as always, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And, お時間もお楽しみに。じゃあね、気をつけて。またしてね。バイバイ。バイ。